Hi all, I am Anika from Andhra Crafts. Today I am going to show you how to do dot mandala art. This is our one sample of our my art. So first I am going to show you how to color the base if it has cut work. You can see in this piece I already did half of the portion. Now half I will show you. So first I am taking out some black chalk color in my plate. And I am doing this color with a sponge. I am not using brush because when you color your cut work base with, pay, uh, with brush it will go in your cut uh, cutting parts also like this it will get stuck in your cut parts so i am not using brush for this i am doing this uh, this with a sponge like this you can see i am just putting some newspaper under my base you can see how i am coloring it i am just taking some color and spreading it like this when you color with a sponge you get a very smooth finish and there is no color in your cut work also you can see there is a very clean finish you will get so i am just doing it fast So here is our black color. You can see the finish and there is no color going in the cut works. Now we are giving a varnish coat on our finished color. Because when you do a varnish coat on the color and you feel get to uh, merge the color somewhere. So you can clean that very easily because of that varnish coat, coat. And there will be no marks left of your dots. So what we are doing? We are again taking, we are again taking a sponge and I am showing you how to do your varnish. So again, I am not doing this with brush. I am doing with a sponge. You can see that bubbles and that So when you go over again on this, these bubbles will disappear. You can see like this. Now if you want to give a, br a brush stroke, you can do it like this. To get rid of your bubbles, just do it like this with a dry brush. There is no water, no varnish in this. This is just a dry brush. So this is how you can give a coat of varnish. So now how to color your base. So this is my little already done design. So now I am going to show you how to color this part. First I am showing you how to use the tools i have four tools here these are four four tools i have when you are using tool it is very important to know that if you will use this tool what will be, will be the dot size so for that what i am doing i am taking some color in my color palette i prefer to use color palette for dot mandala art because then you get a very smooth dot and there will be no bubble in that so you can see the groove of the color plate it will help to make a proper uh, 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 dot when you color it so i'm just taking some color in here and in here so 
so i am showing you the difference of color when you use different size of tools so now i am doing you can see the size of the dot so this is the size of the dot when you use this type tool and how to use this tool is that put your uh, tool straight in your color dip it like this then you can see a drop coming out like this you can see so we want this type drop when we have just place it directly on your surface straight i am not doing it like this because then you will not get a proper dot to get a proper dot it is very important to put your tool straight on surface on your base put straight for small dots i will use this tool you can see this is a small ball uh so when we use this tool we will get a small size ball like this so let's start so what i am doing here i am doing orange color in this flower to color that flower i am using a small ball tool i am just dipping my color uh, my tool straight in the color now i have that pointed color in here so i am just putting it here and again again and again so when you use the same amount of color and same tool multiple times the dots will get smaller you can see this is a big a dot this is a small this is a small or last one is a smaller so in this way you can get small dots with the same tool you can see it see like this the same tool but we are get, getting different size of dots i am again just repeating it like this and like this now we are completing our this flower with the same pattern using it again like this here i am putting one dot this side on the palette before putting my tool in here because i don't want that big size of dot in second place so i am just putting once i am dotting once on the plate and then i am using on my uh, uh, project because then i will not get that much big uh, dot here so again i am coloring it using the same amount of color doing one dot in the side and like this completing another pattern so here our this pattern is complete now i am putting that golden circle in the middle of this orange circle now i want same size of dots in my middle circle so what i am doing for that i am taking little golden color here and i am putting my first dot like this and now because i want the same size of color uh, dot every time so i am taking color every time i am not using the same tool uh, uh, same color again i am taking color every time like this you can see when i am taking color every time there it will be same size of dots i will get so this is the way how i can get the same size of ball every time 
now i am doing some green color in here so what i am doing i am using my medium size tool i am putting one dot in the middle one side one dot here one dot here and one here so this is our leaf pattern one dot in the middle one this side and like this so this is our leaf pattern now i want that small dots in this line so what i am doing this you can see these are very small dots but i can make these dots with the same tool that i used in here how we can do that it depends on the pressure how much pressure you are giving with your brush if you are just touching your brush if you are touching your tool just like this you can get a very small dot you can see it and if you are giving full pressure with your tool like this you will get a big size of dot you can see the difference in the dot i take color both the times and i am using the same tool but the size of the dot is different so with this thing by this process i am just taking little color and i am giving these dots i am just touching these not pressing it you can see i am just touching it like this see small dots with the same tool again see like this now what we are doing we are giving our green color dots in here so for that i am again using this color green color this is andhra craft leafy green color the orange color i am using this is andhra crafts orange pink color golden color i am using this is andhra crafts vintage golden color so i am taking color this green color making one dot in here one here and two here in here i am putting middle a big dot and a small dot and a small dot now i want a small very small dots so i'm just taking my small tool and again i am not pressing it i am just touching it see these are very small dots you can do with this tool again i am just touching it like this so this is how we can color small dots again this golden color i am giving one dot single color again i am doing this pattern i am taking some yellow color in here the color i am using this is bloom sun color from andhra crafts again i am doing this flower first so this is our yellow color flower again now i am showing you how to do this leaf in this leaf i am using orange color what i am doing here i am putting my first dot in here 
now if i will go like this till the end i am not going till the end because there will be no color left so what i am doing i am doing two taps of the same dot same amount of color and now i am going like this because i want to complete that pattern so i am taking color again and i am coloring it like this you can see in this way the same amount of color i uh, i used and i go till the end with the smaller dots again the same pattern i will do on the other side see like this we can color our this pattern now i am putting some gold, golden dots in the middle like we did before like this so this is our flower now i am doing this part first complete that green pattern also again i am taking this tool and doing it so our leaf pattern is also complete so now i am doing this middle part for that i am using orange color and i am just checking if i am getting a proper dot so yes i am getting that proper dot so now now i am coloring that so i am putting one big dot in the middle like this and leave that now i am using a small tool other side and putting one more do more dot like this and now i am changing my tool i am taking a small tool and completing my circle like this so this is our design is complete now there is some few dots are left we need to do for that i am using white color here is our white color i am putting small dots in the middle of our leaf like this now i'm showing you how to make dots over dots you can see in here i am having white dots over my orange color so for that what i am using now i am taking one toothpick or if you have that type of small tools you can use that also uh, in here i am using that toothpick so i am just dipping that straight again straight i am dipping in the white color and i am going over my orange color like this just touching it like this when you use color over color it is very important that you will check the base color is totally dry up if your base color is wet then you will uh, that the uh, the white dot will get smudged up and you will uh, you will lost the shape of the dot so now again i am doing it like this you can see there are white dots on our orange color so with the same pattern i am doing orange dots on my green leaf i am taking the small tool just dipping my tool in here and small dots like this
again on yellow color I have golden dots so I am putting some golden dots on my middle design also like this my this color is wet so I am not touching that in here also this so our design is almost complete just few dots are left that I will do after drying it up so now this is our base so I colored it yellow and orange now I am showing you how it will look like after sticking my palette so this is our project you can see this is the final product we will get. You can color your middle part with any color. You can place some quotation also in this and you can use it as a table centerpiece, decorate it with some flowers. This is a multi-purpose base you can use in different ways. So this is our final project. I hope you all like the pro this video. Please share your reviews and comments with us and please subscribe my channel for more videos. Take care. Bye. Happy crafting.